Hey everybody, welcome back to another video again today. Uh, today, for once, we're shockingly not talking about leaks or Saika or something, you know. Um, so this is a video I don't think you guys need to be concerned about because there shouldn't be any spoilers in it. Um, it's all official information. Uh, you know, I don't consider f official information from, like, actual sources that, like, like the director or something... While they can be spoilers, or I don't consider them like le you know they're not leaks or anything. So we got two things to talk about today: one from Michael, director of King of the Monsters, and one from Adam Wingard. I'm gonna talk about the Michael one first. We'll talk about Adam first. Adam Adam's not gonna be as long. Um, yeah, we have updates on both of them. So if you came in here, don't be concerned. I'm not gonna talk about the leaks or anything. I'm not gonna be talking about anything spoiler esque esque. So don't be if you've been on this channel or whatever and you don't want to hear anything, don't be concerned. We're not talking about anything like that. We're just talking about official like information. And yes, I did get a haircut and I have a baby face now. So, um my hair is still crazy though. So real quick, uh out of these two, we'll just talk about Adam Wingard first because this is completely official. The other one, while I think it's official, there's still a chance it could be fake. Um, I'll talk about why when we get to it. But for now, let's begin. So, on social media earlier this morning, I just got home. So, I haven't had a chance to talk about it. Adam Wingard went to Instagram to talk about GVK. Now, Adam Wingard uh, hasn't talked about the film much. He did do an interview a couple of years ago when when he was still working on Death Note and he's made a couple posts about it but overall he's been very secretive not saying much about it you know there's not much on this film he even talks about in this video like in this post why uh sorry I keep messing with my hair it just bugs me he keeps talking about in this post so why um he isn't talking about it so basically the caption of this post he made is Working on GVK has been a the thrill of a lifetime. We're on the home stretch of editorial just a few more months ago. I tend to stay quiet about my projects as I work on them, but I just gotta say, monkey face like that. Uh, I'm so damned, I'm so damned excited about this crazy movie. Uh, damned, I, I don't know. That was a weird context to use it. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe I'm more wrong. And he the picture he used um is a picture from the original king kong vs godzilla uh some behind the scenes where king kong's being you know he's floating around in balloons you know you guys all know how that is it's a pretty funny shot um again i'll link all this in the description below for both of these so if you want to go figure anything out for him so basically he's saying here he basically confirms the reason that they're so quiet on it is he doesn't like talking about the movies while he's working on them. Unlike Michael, who literally, like, why they're working on the movie, he basically, like, he he was open. He was very open about the movie. Why they're in the middle of working on it, he was extremely open. Adam, on the other hand, says he prefers to be pretty quiet while he works on his movies and his other project stuff. Uh, he just said, he said that um, he just doesn't like talking about it. So, to Adam, that's the reason... That's what he said, the reason he doesn't talk about it much. He, like I said, he asked me a few posts, and he did one interview, but he's been extremely quiet. You know, there's been... He's never went on stage, I don't think, and ever talked about it and stuff. He's been extremely quiet about the movie. That's nothing to be, like, concerned about. Um, he said, uh... He calls it a crazy movie, and... Yeah, I would say the film's gonna be pretty crazy, especially with what I know about it, not bringing it up, but... It's definitely, he's not wrong. Sounds like it's going to be a pretty insane film. Uh, definitely, I'm really excited for this movie. I know there's a lot of people losing hope in it, but I, I don't know. I've always been really excited for this movie because it's King Kong for Godzilla. Um, I don't know how you can't be excited for that, even with what you may or may not know. Um, so, he also said working on GVK was a thrill of a lifetime. Man, he's almost making it sound like this is his favorite movie to work on, which it could be. I mean, I would have a blast probably working on a project like Godzilla vs. Kong. You know how crazy that would be to have the honor to make a movie like that? Um, interesting, he said, we're in the home stretch of editorial. 
just a few more months to go. So, I, when they say editorial, there's a couple rumors. So basically to me, this confirms there's no major reshoots going on. They're in post-production, I assume. Um, that's what they mean, because they're editing the movie, editorial. I assume what that means is that there's no major reshoots. We do know there's reshoots going on, but they're very, very minor. And no, it's a B team doing it. There's no major players there on the set doing it. So Michael's not there. As far as I know, Adam isn't there. Uh, the assistant director, no one crazy is there. It's just them doing a couple of shots to add for VFX. That's pretty sure what they're going on. They're not going anywhere to reshoot. They're doing it on a private lot. And there's none of the actors are on the set or anything. They're just doing some stuff. So don't be concerned. Trust me, that website, which is something that I actually should talk about in this video, that we got this covered. Don't believe them. They literally just made a article today that the end credit scene is aliens coming there, coming to like in contact with human life. Like not, I'm not talking about like Ghidorah. I'm talking about like legit aliens, like uh, the Exilians or something. I'm not even going to bring that. I'm not even going to discuss that, but you can see what I mean. Um, which, you know, who knows, maybe they're not lying, but I, yeah, they're lying. Um, cause there's no major reshoots going on, so they're lying, but yeah, so basically a few more months to go, I assume, I also take a few more months to go, as they're in post-production, they still have a few more months to go, you know, they're taking their time, they just, they weren't gonna have it done by March, so they just, they asked and they got it delayed and Warner Bros. picked what date they thought was best, you know, election month. Whether that affects it or not, I don't know. Or Eternals. But I assume here in a few months we're going to get the trailer. The way he's talking a few more months ago. I assume that's when the marketing is going to pick up. I feel like Adam's hinting at it here. One more thing before we move on to the next one. Because I didn't realize how long I was going to talk about Adam's post. The post is of Kong. And so far everything for this film that Adam's post is pretty much focused on Kong. Or Kong beating up Godzilla. He posted like the the poster of Kong throwing Godzilla by the tail on the Criterion Collection. And he's made some other posts with Kong. Uh, people are thinking this is his way of saying that Kong's going to win. But honestly, I think he's just doing it just to do it. The shot of Kong throwing Godzilla is such an iconic shot. You know, the poster. Especially the Criterion one. That's been a pretty big one. And then... This shot of Kong just floating around balloons, it's just funny. You know, some of this stuff's just funny. I don't think he's doing it to hint at anything. I honestly feel like Kong, or Godzilla's gonna win personally, but from what I can gather, but I mean, you know, I think it's just, he's just doing it to be funny. I don't, I don't think he's confirming or hinting at anything. If he is, he is, but I don't think he is, you know. I really just, I, I can't see him posting a picture of Kong floating on balloons. That's his way of saying, psh, guys, Kong's gonna win. But, that's all for that one. If you want to read it yourself, link's in the description. Okay, so, the next article, though, we're going to talk about... Basically, Michael went to Twitter, and uh, he supposedly responded to someone and kind of gave an explanation why Kong would be able to grow so much. Now, this came out this morning from a YouTuber named uh, Scry. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If you don't know who he is, he's a YouTuber who... Uh, does a lot of musical covers, and he has a series called Godzilla Origins, which is basically like a, uh, like a audio book kind of like drama thing. Um, he's mostly popular for his music, though. He also really, really hates the MonsterVerse canon in terms of like the continuity. He isn't. I've seen him a lot complain about uh, the way they did it to where it doesn't make sense. Which you know he could be right. You know I. Don't, Maybe I'm missing some, but he doesn't like, he doesn't think at all that lines up, but that's an important. So basically, he posted a video. He said, back on October 2nd, 2019, on Twitter, he said, I still want to know how Kong's going to be able to get as big as Godzilla. Even fully grown, his parents weren't much bigger than the full grown skull crawlers at Mike. Uh, you know, he put his tag. Can you shed some light? And don't say it's because he ate his veggies. Um,. I didn't get on to see if this was a real tweet or not, which I probably should have. I don't know why I didn't. But then they uses this really cool fan picture. Um, and then here's the part I'm not sure about, but I don't see him lying about it. But he posted it where Michael supposedly uh, like messaged him back privately. And you guys can tell me, you know, I, as far as I'm aware, Michael, I've never heard of Michael privately DMing someone, especially first. Like, he first, usually he's public about it, but 
Maybe it's because he can type more. This is what's throwing me off, the fact that he just private DM'd him. Uh, I haven't got around to really asking for proof yet, but according to him, Michael privately DM'd him. You know, maybe this will turn out to be fake, guys, you know. But I'll, I'll, I'll find a way. I'm, you know, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably try to get more proof, but I'm just assuming he wouldn't come up with something like this, because this would be something easy for him to prove, you know, if it was real. He could just screen record and show on stream or something that Michael did reply to him. Uh, but he posted a DM with Mike, and Mike said, here was Mike's response to Kong, uh, him asking why Kong's able to grow so much. He says, there are many different types of radiation, some of which are lethal, some of which aren't. For instance, sunlight is a form of radiation which can both nurture life and kill it, depending on the quantity absorbed in the life form. Same with the Titans. That's what Michael said. So, basically what you can gather from this, if Titans absorb enough radiation, they can grow quite a lot. And, I mean, that makes sense. That's been a big thing in the Godzilla films for a while. Especially, I assume Skull Island could have its own type of radiation. But, like, Godzilla's, you know, he has a really lethal type of uh, radiation he absorbs to grow. Kong, on the other hand, you know, like, he's he might get sunlight or something. That can help him grow. He could kill the skull crawlers and absorb their radiation afterwards. Especially since they live in the Hollow Earth, where there's probably a lot more radiation. Um, so, what I assume, he's just basically saying Kong just absorbed a ton of radiation to grow crazy big compared to other members of the species. Uh, he absorbed it in a much higher quantity and a much faster rate than the other members of the species and just a species does have the capacity to grow as big as he's going to be in the film it's not something that's impossible like everyone thought and honestly if this is the case this would be something that logically does make sense to me i definitely i definitely could see uh that being a reason actually someone else brought that up too where that's the reason Kong can grow and um I could definitely see this being a logical reason that Kong just is able to, with other Titans, you know, like I said, it's been a big thing in Godzilla monster, or Godzilla movie, it's like the Heisei series, we saw him absorb more radiation, he was able to grow, um, and then, um, you know, we saw that from Biollante the Ghidorah, he was able to grow with more radiation, and we also saw in, I believe Biollante, or one of the films, uh, other types of radiation harmed Godzilla, and the, like, there was a, fictional one in the Heisei series, I forget what that's called, um, not only that, but I don't, I could see Michael actually saying this, because here's the thing, I think Sam for a reason, because I don't know if you guys remember this, but in King of the Monsters, when, after Godzilla absorbed a bunch of radiation, he grew, like, 50 feet, like, Godzilla was able to grow to, like, 400 feet tall, after being, like, 350 or something, he grew, like, 50 feet, just from absorbing a ton of radiation, and he did that all in one go. He grew that much, and that just from one thing of radiation. I think, honestly, this would make sense. They already showed in the MonsterVerse that this is something that the Titans are completely capable of. They're able to absorb radiation and grow. We don't see it too often. Godzilla's the only time we've seen it. And he says, just, just like the Titans, I would assume maybe he put that in place, Godzilla growing, just to prove that radiation can make him grow. So I believe it's very likely, and this is very plausible, whether Michael, this is actually Michael, this fake or real, even if some scribe, if this some scribe made or scry or whatever, I mean it's a good theory, but I mean I could definitely see Michael saying this because, like I said, he showed Godzilla growing from absorbing a lot of radiation. Um, how much radiation? Because like, yeah, I I agree that Kong wasn't too, his parents weren't super big. They were about. A little bit bigger than he was on as an adolescent was going on. Could be partly because Kong's the last one, and radiation doesn't have to be shared the same. And he's the strongest, and his population like isn't dying out the same way with skull crawlers like overwhelming him. That's very likely that skull crawlers could grow to be like 300 feet tall by this, you know. Possibly the big one, you know, possibly there could, they could grow really big. We could see other Titans grow much bigger than this. Um, it would be really interesting to see a huge skull crawler fight Godzilla. Definitely think Godzilla could win, but uh, seeing the durability that they had. But um, this is plausible to me. I think something makes sense. You know, whether you guys think not, 
it's been it introduced as a concept in the MonsterVerse that Titans can grow with radiation absorption. Like I said, Godzilla is a prime example of that. So, we saw Godzilla do it. It's very likely Kong just, and like I said, Godzilla did it in one go with just a bunch of radiation. Kong from Skull, like we see him in the comic books, be he's almost like 200 feet tall. And after being like just 100 feet tall, he did that in 20 years. So in 40 years, Kong's going to be able to absorb enough radiation to be almost, like, possibly almost as tall as Godzilla, depending on how tall they decide to make him. Obviously, he's going to be pretty big, though. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about all this? I don't want to ramble on too much longer. Personally, I think this all makes sense to me. I'm really happy for Adam. I, th I believe I, I it's good, good for him. He's having a thrill. And to me, he's saying we're going to see something soon. Uh, and... They didn't give up on the film like people think he, they did. And as for Michael, I mean, whether this is fake or real, it's plausible. I definitely think it makes sense. Links will be in the description below. If you enjoyed, please, as always, share and subscribe. I'd like to hear a discussion below. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great night. As always, High Flyers Tag Team, signing out. Peace.